Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Bija and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. In this video we are going to discuss about Visual Studio Code. Basically what is Visual Studio Code, how it is different from Visual Studio and uh, Visual Studio Code. And also we will download and install Visual Studio Code in Windows, Windows 10 machine. So first of all what is Visual Studio Code? So it is actually a lightweight source editor. So it's a basically a code editor which you can use and uh, it available on Windows, Mac, OS and Linux as well. And uh, it has built-in support for uh, JavaScript, TypeScript and Node.js. So without installing anything or any extensions, you will be able to work with uh, this uh, programming. And then also it has a lot of languages, uh, extensions are available for uh, uh, various languages like C Sharp, C, C++, Python, PHP, and HTML, CSS, JavaScript, like this. Various extensions are available which you can use. And it has the benefit like it, it will highlight the syntax uh, if there is any uh, bracket or mismatch. Then it has intelligence support. So intelligence is there where you can, if any, uh, it will show you the suggestions. And then also it will show the corrections and uh, line thing. And then uh, you can use the code navigation feature. Like you can go to the definition or you can see all the references in the page like this. You can see it. And then apart from that also it support debugging and uh, refactoring as well. Now, how it is differ from Visual Studio, uh, the versions that usually comes like now 2019 uh, Visual Studio version is there. So there are a couple of major differences are there. One thing is if you'll see the Visual Studio code, it is actually an editor and it will not have any UI. But if you'll see Visual Studio is a IDE. It is a fully uh, full feature development environment. You can do development in that. There are a lot of templates are available. You can also add uh, other templates. And then it is cross platform first. This is slow. So Visual Studio is slow. If we'll actually use uh, for any in, in, in SharePoint also when you develop any custom development, you will feel you will feel that slowness. And uh, any developer can use Visual Studio Code because it is open source, it supports a lot of languages. But majorly, Visual Studio is used by the .NET developers. Maybe you are trying to develop MVC application, .NET Core, or classic .NET web applications, uh, websites, or Windows Form applications. So they, there we use a Visual Studio uh, in those scenarios. Even as a SharePoint developers also, we usually use uh, for server side code and uh, stuff like that. But nowadays after SPFX came, then we are using also Visual Studio code. Now let us see how we can install it. So basically if you'll go to code.visualstudio.com, then you will be able to see there, uh, there is a uh, downloadable for Windows. If you'll click on this, you'll be able to see for other OS also. If you are using Mac then or Linux, you can uh, download uh, the corresponding versions. And uh, uh, this scenario is what will happen is you can, uh, by default it will, uh, it will uh, download the 64 bit. If you want to use the 30, 34 bit, then you can scroll down and then you'll be able to download here the uh, 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 32 bit as well. So you can just click on this to download because I have a Windows, Windows 10 machine, so I have downloaded this. And uh, if you will see here, this is the setup. Just double click on this, click on I accept the agreements, click on next. By default, it will put in this folder. Uh, then you can uh, click on next. So you can see here. And if you want to open uh, um, uh, in a desktop, additional things are there. If you want to you select, you can select these options. And uh, then you can see here, click on install. So once you click on install, now it will just take some time and it will install this. So in your local system, now you can use Visual Studio Code so you can see here if i'll click on finish then it will show me the visual studio code so pretty simple easy steps to install as well previously like you are to create a html file or css file or javascript file we usually create a notepad and uh, stuff like that but in this course in, in these cases you can use visual studio code to do that we will see how we can create files folders all these things but in this video we wanted to uh, do this installation and we wanted to see what is the difference between your visual studio code and visual studio
so if you like the videos kindly uh, subscribe our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint or javascript html css um, apart from that you will get other videos power uh, power apps power bi uh, power automate spfx all these videos you will get mostly on the microsoft technologies and these are our websites uh, this is our twitter handle you can follow and then this is our linkedin and facebook pages to like these pages as well so thank you and have a nice day